An open world Splatoon game has always been my preferred option if there is to be a spin-off game in the Splatoon franchise that does explore something a little bit different compared to the main games in the series. Because I have talked about this spin-off game quite a lot of times on the channel over the last year, I have got really excited about this open world game. I think it would be really cool just to travel around in Copolis. I've always thought that would be a really cool idea for a spin-off game, an open world Splatoon game where we got to travel around the locations that we learn about in the main series. It would just be really cool to see, but having thought about it a little bit more, maybe that sort of game would be too ambitious to be the first spin-off game. And having seen the recent Splatfest dialogue in the Knights vs Wizards Splatfest, where they talked about a fresh fish game with Knights and Wizards being the main playable characters, it sounded like the game had RPG elements with upgradable skills and a skill tree. That sort of dialogue has made me thought a little bit more about the idea of possible Splatoon spin-off games that we could possibly see in the future. It would be really cool if that Fresh Fish dialogue actually turned out to be a hint towards an upcoming game. Maybe we could see that Fresh Fish game in real life that would be really cool to see but yeah that is definitely a long 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 shot it definitely is an unrealistic possibility the most realistic explanation for that fresh fish game existing is just an in-game reason for the knights versus wizards Splatfest to exist in the actual game it is just there for a law purpose only and we will not see anything come of it. But seeing that dialogue in the Knights vs Wizards Blackfest has definitely made me more open to more spin-off game possibilities. I have always had the thought process that a spin-off game will be developed by Nintendo themselves. But there is nothing stopping Nintendo letting other companies develop a spin-off game. We have seen it with other spin-off games using Nintendo IPs. We have seen Hyrule Warriors, Fire Emblem Warriors from Koei Tecmo, where The Legend of Zelda and the Fire Emblem series get teamed up with Koei Tecmo's Dynasty Warriors series. It definitely makes for some interesting gameplay. I definitely did enjoy my time playing Hyrule Warriors. Maybe Koei Tecmo, maybe they could be developing a Splatoon Warriors game. That would be really cool to see, but I'm not really sure how it would work just because Dynasty Warriors and the two Warriors spin-off games that I did just list Pretty much the gameplay resolved around sword users, so I'm not really sure whether a shooter would mesh well with a Warriors game, but I think it would be really cool to see a lot of Octarians on the stage and we have to battle our way as they capture the areas and pretty much in Warriors games you have a captain that is stronger than the normal sort of troopers. The normal troopers will just be the standard Octarians or Octo troopers. Maybe we'll see different type of Octarian sort of soldiers in there. So you would see all of the different types that we do see in the single player. Like the Octocopters, the Octo Snipers and enemies like the Twinticle Octo Troopers. Maybe we'll see them all on the stage at one time. And the captains, they would be Octolings. They would be a lot stronger than the standard Octarian enemy. In Warriors games, a boss character does appear on the stage to help out the enemy. So maybe you could see all of the bosses from the Splatoon series. So like the Octo Samurai, the Octo Oven. Bosses like that, maybe they could appear in levels as well. Maybe you could also see Octo Weapons like the Octo Storm also appear in stages as well. But yeah, I would definitely love to see a Splatoon Warriors game. Maybe we'll see Pearl Marino, Callie and Marie maybe they would be helping you out maybe they would be the hero characters maybe you could get to see them on the battlefield for the first time that would be really cool to see you would just be 
maybe Agent 3, Agent 4. I'm not really sure what the plot would be. Maybe the final boss would be DJ Octavio. But with Hyrule Warriors, they came up with a brand new boss called Sia. So maybe with a Splatoon Warriors game, maybe you could see even the Octarians and the Inklings. Maybe they could team up against a new anime. Maybe it could be Salmonid. Maybe that is something they could explore within a Splatoon spin-off game. Like a Splatoon Warriors game. But yeah, having played Hyrule Warriors, I really did enjoy the game. So I would love to see that sort of game. But yeah, like what I said at the start, I'm not really sure whether that would be possible due to basically the gameplay being reliant on sword users. I'm not really sure how it would work with a shooter sort of gameplay i'm not really sure how it would work that way but yeah i'd love to see a splatoon warriors game now a spin-off game that i have been interested in buying i haven't bought the game yet but i will be buying it really soon that is mario rabbit kingdom battle the game is made by ubisoft and it combines the mario universe with the rabbits universe from ubisoft and yeah, it definitely does look really fun. Now this type of gameplay will be a lot different to what we have seen in this Splatoon series so far. It will be a lot more strategy focused. It will be a lot more tactical compared to the Splatoon series. But yeah, it would be really cool to see a Splatoon Rabbids game. Maybe again, you could see Pearl, Marino, maybe you could see Kali and Marie on this stage as well and maybe we could even see rabid versions of those characters as well like what i said before maybe we'll see standard octo trooper enemies on the stage but also maybe we'll see other octarian troopers and maybe we'll see different sort of octo bosses appear as well that would be really cool to see and who knows maybe within this sort of game maybe we'll see stuff from the octo expansion as well so maybe not only dj octavio appears maybe commander tartar will appear as well maybe that could be like a bonus world for completing the main story maybe the plot point could be you trying to stop the octarians from breaking free dj octavio maybe at the start you do see the octarians break free dj octavio again maybe your job is to try and track down dj octavio again but in a new setting or maybe something weird could have been happening in the world of incopolis like a wormhole could appear that could be the reason why you do see all of the rabid versions of the hero characters appear and basically that sort of wormhole will bring in rabid versions of the enemy characters as well so maybe you could get to see not DJ Octavio himself in the game, but maybe a rabid version of DJ Octavio, a rabid version of Commander Tartar, and rabid versions of all of the enemies that we do face in the main series. Maybe that is the way that they will go down. Maybe it will not affect, or maybe Nintendo will not do anything similar to the main series. So just a standard. DJ Octavio getting free from his globe and you have to track it down. Maybe that sort of wormhole idea would explain why you do see all of these rabbit characters appear in the world of Incopolis all of a sudden. But yeah, I would love to see a Splatoon rabbit sort of combination game. That would be really fun to see. Having seen the Mario Rabbids Kingdom Battle gameplay, it is something that I definitely want to experience myself. And yeah, I think it could work with Splatoon. Let me know your thoughts about this in the comment section below. I think the point that I'm trying to make here is that who knows what could be happening in the world of Splatoon and in the world of spin-off games. Maybe it's not just Nintendo that could be developing spin-off games. Maybe they could be teaming up with someone like Ubisoft and making a Splatoon Rabbids game or teaming up with Koei Tecmo to make a Splatoon Warriors game. That would be really cool to see. I definitely would love to see those type of games come out. They would be my perfect spin-off games. I think that would be the perfect way to go in terms of making a spin-off game. I think 
basically what Nintendo might do is use a spin-off game developed by someone else basically to give them more time to maybe even develop a Splatoon open world game or to develop Splatoon 3 so yeah a spin-off game it doesn't necessarily have to be developed by Nintendo that is the thought process that I have just been sticking to when I have thought about this sort of question so yeah let me know your thoughts about this in the comment section below do you think we will see a spin-off game from Nintendo or someone else in terms of Splatoon I definitely would love to see something Splatoon come out also on the Switch I don't want to wait until the next system for the next Splatoon experience to come out maybe we could see Nintendo Kart come out maybe we'll see more Splatoon characters in the world of Mario Kart but instead of it being called Mario Kart 9 due to the success of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe maybe we could see something like Nintendo Kart on the Switch where you get to race around more series apart from Zelda, Animal Crossing and of course Mario maybe there could be like three or four tracks based on the world of Splatoon maybe Kali Marie, Pearl Marino maybe they could be racers in a Nintendo Kart so yeah it's just something that I have been thinking about a little bit more since the Knights vs Wizards Splatfest maybe we could even see like an RPG or a game with RPG elements that would be really cool to see as well so yeah I'll definitely be down with anything in terms of Splatoon my preferred options would be Splatoon Warriors or Splatoon Rabbids but yeah, I've, I've said this before also on the channel, maybe Nintendo would do a Splatoon Just Dance sort of game where you get to see the idols basically dance around, you get to copy their dance sort of moves, you get to sing along to the songs. Maybe Nintendo will do something like that in combination with Ubisoft, maybe that could be the spin-off game but yeah I really don't want that to happen. I don't want that to be the only spin-off game, I hope Nintendo in that situation has got something else lined up as well so that is it for this video and yeah we'll see you in another video soon hopefully